Welcome to my new video. In this video, we read a file where the name of the file is passed as runtime. Uh, friends, look, this is my location on a desktop, my folder. I create my folder. Uh, here I create three files crow1, crow2, and crow3.txt. All are the text files. Uh, look at the content. This is the content of crow1, contain four or five lines. Uh, thrusty crow 1 title and uh, this is my uh, file number 2 thrusty crow 2 crow 2 and four five lines are stored in this and uh, and this is my third file thrusty crow 3 so now what I what I have to do I run a program look enter the file name you want to read now I pass crow 1 dot txt and enter the line number which you want to read for example i read uh, i want to read a uh, line number third so the line number third is once there was a thirsty crow uh, this is my crow number one so friends look uh, the first line thirsty crow one second line intentionally blank and third line is once there was a thirsty crow so I display the ones there was a thirsty crow and uh, the speciality of our code is you want to read a more file for example enter yes now enter the file name you want to read the program run again now I want to read a crow2.txt enter the line number we want to read for example I want to read uh, enter the line number one no line number one is thirsty crow2 this is uh, my crow2 look this is my file crow2 now the first line is thirsty crow second so this is my code so friends uh, I explain this code step by step so please watch a full video now I press no my program is exit this is untitled file now I take a variable any variable I use open function open for example here I put a file name firstly we don't pass the file at a runtime I explain it a step by step for example I want to read a crow1.txt by default this is a read mode you no need to mention the mode here uh, for example R so R is optional here R is means read mode means file is opening for reading I take a variable L I use a function read line read lines it read all lines from the file crow1.txt to L L is a list here R remember L is a list here if my file crow1.txt having a four and five lines those list contain a four or five items indexing with the start with zero now I access the file line by line for a in L so friends a is a string here a is a string here if I want to print each and every line of my file print a and f dot close so this is my simple code to read a file crow1.txt and uh, I run this code before running it must be save I choose the location my folder because crow1.txt is located at my folder this is my code for example I name it code I run this file after saving so friends this is a content of my file crow1.txt once there was a thirsty crow uh, obviously when the crow was thirsty so she flies here and there and so on so friend this is the content of my file you see this is a I read a whole file so now I change this code step by step so our next task is for example we convert this into function you can watch my other videos of function file handling uh, def 
for example this is a read file I make this function with name read file and I call this function here read file so this is a simple code I change it to a function if I run this code again now this is the same output as previous I just added two lines I make it the function read file and in the main section I call this read file function so friends now I change it to the runtime parameter what do you mean by runtime parameter for example this is f name any variable I use a input function to enter the value at runtime now enter file you want to read now I pass this parameter to f name to read file f name is the actual parameter now this is our read file I take any variable here for example you can take f name you can take a b any name take a I for example take it name now instead of crow1.txt I put name again I explain you read mode is optional so now if I run this code I pass a file at a runtime for example I have three files as I show you earlier crow1 crow2 and crow3.txt if I run this code I want to read a file uh, for example crow3.txt so friends this is the content of my file crow3.txt now it is up to me which file I want to read for example I want to read a crow1.txt I pass the file name as a parameter this is the content of my crow1.txt so friends now uh, let's move further hope you understand uh, more uh, this is the read line function I use a read line function to read the all line from the file I use open function name is a file name which you want to open remember file must be present in my folder because our code dot py is in my folder this is my folder here crow1 crow2 crow3 all text file are present here I save my code dot py here so friends so all uh, so location must be same otherwise you need to mention the path of the file every time we want to read a new file we have to run this code again and again uh, for this I take any variable for example ch is equal to y and I take a loop while ch is equal to y or ch is equal to small y. and this is friend this is a loop uh, now now friends look this is infinite loop this while loop is infinite because ch is equal to y and while ch is equal to y the loop will run so friends ch is always y so this is the infinite loop which must be avoided because we have to end this loop at a certain condition for example uh, I input again value of ch uh, enter y to read more file enter y to read a more file now if I run this code again now look at my code enter the file you want to read it read it start from here ch is equal to y loop is true so that's why enter a file you want to read now I put crow2.txt 
now file name crow2.txt store in f name and f name copies to the name it call the function read file and it copies to the name now crow2.txt in read more it read all lines to the l i access this l by line by line and print the content of crow2.txt in form of lines each and every line store in a separately so if i run this code thirsty crow2 this is the content of my file and now i i am at the last enter y to read a more file for example i enter y here then the program run again now i want to read a crow1.txt now this is the content of crow1.txt now again enter y to read a more file now i want to read a crow3 for example yes now crow3. txt now this is the content of my thirsty crow3 now all files are read by me now i press n and exit ch is not is equal to y the loop will terminate ch not is equal to y the loop will terminate no now i want to read a specific number i want to read a specific number from my file means i want to read a second line third line fourth line it depend upon me which line i want to read so now i have pass a two parameters one is file name and one is i take a num variable number i use int function to convert the string to int input enter line number Uh, you want to read and the line number you want to read now sorry this line is must be here and the line number you want to read here now i call the function f name and second parameter is number now i store this name and n number copies to n now i read the file here no i put the logic here i n is my line number i read the file from the beginning this is my line number 1 so i take a variable any variable count to count the lines count is equal to now this will print my line Mm, now here i put my logic plus 1 if n is equal to count then i print a if n is equal to count then i print a i explain it after running i want to read a crow1 dot txt i want to read a third line once there was a thirsty crow so this is my line number third i show you and this is my folder and this is my crow1 now i want to read a crow1.txt third line first line is thirsty crow1 second line is blank and third line is once there was a thirsty crow if you want to read a more for example yes again i want to read a crow1 again but now this time the line number is fifth so she wander here and there to search for the water so this is my crow1 she wander here so first second third fourth and this is the line number fifth now friends i explain you the code a logic of logic behind the code so friends remember there is a variable l there is variable l l is a list here this is the list so list will contain my whole file list will contain my whole file list ke andar kya hoga list ke andar सारी एलिमेंट्स स्टोर हो जाएंगे लाइन बाय लाइन मींस 
the value of a list number uh, the value of a list is 30 crore one blank line once there was a 30 crore obviously when the crow was thirsty and, and so on so l is a list so what i want to do i using a loop here a a in l so the thirsty crow one this is thirsty crow one this line firstly store into the a this line store into the a first time okay the value of a is 30 crore 1 now count is equal to 0 the value of count is 0 i again count is equal to count plus 1 the count value is of 1 and now i comparison if n for example i want to search a line number 3 3 is equal to 3 is equal to for example 1 this is not equal to true so print a will not perform because i want to read a line number third again loop will run now the next is my this blank line this is my blank line intentionally blank now the value of a is blank second time the value of a is blank now my loop is the count value is is equal to Abna 2 now 3 is equal to 2 that is not true again the loop will run now the value is once there was a thirsty crow now the a the content of a is once there was a thirsty crow now the comparison count uh, 3 is equal to 3 this is the value of count every time count is incremented now 3 is equal to 3 now it perform print a means my line number third will print so this is the logic behind this code uh, hope you understand uh, please watch my uh, please watch my another videos uh, please visit my website also